Well, ecosystems, of course, are, are, com are comprised of the plants and animals and, and microbes that live in ecosystems, plus the soils and the water. And as temperature and moisture conditions change, the conditions for organisms change. So we can expect, for example, in the Chicago area, as the climate increases, that certain tree species that have evolved to uh, survive and reproduce in our region will no longer do that. They will move, they'll survive in areas further north that are climatically similar to what we are today. And consequently, we will have species that are further south. That's the simplest view of it. Um, but there are many other views. Uh, species, different plant species will migrate at different rates. Animal species that depend on them will come and go. Things will change. For better or worse, uh, you know, it's, it's scientifically irrelevant, but in, in one sense. We know ecosystems always change, but we know with a warmer climate, a drier climate, uh, in Chicago, for example, more rain in the winter and spring, conditions for life will differ. Um, certain ecosystems are very important in, in, in actually modifying greenhouse gas concentrations. For example, temperate forests and even tropical forests remove CO2 from the atmosphere. So if it weren't for the forests that surround us in the north temperate zone, um, the CO2 increases in the atmosphere would be even higher. Now part of the scientific question uh, and part of the reason ecosystems are important is we don't know that as the climate warms the ecosystems will be removing CO2 from the atmosphere as effectively as they are now. And so if they stop or if they start emitting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere in a warmer climate, which they could do uh, because things might respire faster and release CO2 themselves, then you know we're in a situation that we call positive feedback. Uh, ecosystems are getting warmer, therefore they're respiring more carbon dioxide, and therefore they're getting warmer because the atmosphere is having more CO2. Um, this is a particular uh, problem that could play out in the Arctic, where there are vast stores of peat, and peat holds carbon. Now that peat's been frozen for, for hundreds of thousands of years, and um, if, if the climate warms and dries in the Arctic, we might expect some of that peat to decompose and release CO2 into the atmosphere. So that's why the ecosystems actually provide services for us. One of those services is removing CO2 from the atmosphere. How will that service change uh, as the planet warms, especially in high latitudes that have a lot of carbon? So um, that's one reason ecosystems are important.